Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. Today we'll be discussing what happened to Luna Lovegood's mother, Pandora Lovegood. As any fan of the Harry Potter series will know, Luna Lovegood was the loyal and incredibly quirky Ravenclaw student who was first introduced to Harry and his friends at the beginning of the Order of the Phoenix. Often described as having her head in the clouds, some classmates went so far as to refer to her as Loony Lovegood, a rather unkind nickname meant to reference her eccentric views. The more we learned about Luna throughout the series, the more we understood that she came by her outlandish beliefs all too honestly. Her father, Xenophilius Lovegood, raised her on his own from the time she was nine, and he was quite the eccentric himself. Editor of the rather niche publication, The Quibbler, which marketed itself as the Wizarding World's alternative voice, Xenophilius would run rather odd articles about things like conspiracy theories and creatures that did not exist. In any case, Xenophilius and Luna lived just the two of them near the village of Ottery St. Catchpole in Devon. Which brings us to today's question. What happened to Luna's mother, Pandora? Well, sadly for Luna and Xenophilius, there's no conspiracy here to account for Pandora's absence in Luna's life, and no chance of her magically reappearing decades later. Rather, she died as the result of a spell gone wrong around 1990 or 1991. Looking much like Luna, Pandora was a British witch who had married Xenophilius Lovegood, with whom she had one child, Luna. Apparently, Pandora loved to experiment with magic and the events that led to her death were nothing more than a tragic accident, a spell of her own creation backfiring on her. What's worse is the fact that a nine-year-old Luna was present at the time of the accident and witnessed her mother's death, something she shares with Harry in the Order of the Phoenix, saying to him, Yes, it was rather horrible, said Luna conversationally. I still feel very sad about it sometimes. This, of course, is the reason that Luna, alongside Harry in the Order of the Phoenix, is able to see Thestrals, the frightening black, skeletal, and winged horse-like creatures that can only be seen by those who have witnessed death. While Luna never had the chance to reunite with her mother in the living world, she did believe that she would one day see her again. This is supported by that same conversation she had with Harry, the one I mentioned earlier, for after she shares how sad she is that her mother is gone, she also expresses her belief that she'll see Pandora again in the afterlife specifically mentioning the Veil, the ancient archway in the Ministry of Magic's Department of Mysteries that appears to be a gateway between the living and the dead. And anyway, it's not as though I'll never see Mum again, is it? Uh, isn't it? said Harry uncertainly. She shook her head in disbelief. Oh, come on. You heard them, just behind the Veil, didn't you? You mean, in that room with the archway. They were just lurking out of sight, that's all. You heard them. So what do you think? Do you agree with what I've shared today? What type of spell do you think Pandora was trying to use that backfired so horribly? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, remember, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live.